Hello everyone, and for today's Figma quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to create a component trigger that actually affects a different one. So I have here two components, one is my buttons and the other is this image, and I want to create an interaction for you to click on these buttons and change the image. So instead of creating many different pages to explore this interaction, I will do everything in this one single frame here with the power of variables. So first, let me create the variables. I'll create two for this case here. One will be a string for the image mode. I'll set the default portrait. And the other one will be for the visibility. So I'll set a boolean show it's true. With the variables created, and as you can see, I have the option to assign a variable to the state. Let me go to my components. I'll call this portrait, and this one I'll call landscape. Now selecting the instance to assign a variable. I'll select it and select the variable that I create mode which is portrait. With the instance still selected, I'm gonna go to the appearance part of the panel here, over over the eye icon, right click it, and then select show property here. It won't change anything because my show property is set to on, but if I come here in my local variables and hit false, you'll see that it disappears. Let me bring that back. With the buttons here, what I wanna do, I'll select the visibility on button, add some interaction to it, on click. I want two things to happen. First, I want it to set variable show to false, so it will make my image disappear. And along with that, I'll hit the plus button here and add change to, so I'll change it to off button, which is the name of the visibility off. And that's done for this case here. Now let's do the same for the visibility off. I'll create an interaction to it, on click. I want to set the variable now, show to true. I'll add another interaction here, change to, and now instead of going to off, we're gonna change to on. So let's see how the prototype is looking by now. So when I click here, as you can see, the button changes and also the image disappears, so I can bring it back without creating any other frames other than this one. Let's do the same for the image mode. I'll select this one here, add some interaction to it, on click. Now I want to set a variable that is mode, and I want to set it to, I'll add the string, landscape, hit enter, and that's done. Click the plus button, change to, state, to, landscape. Let's do now the same for the other one. Add interaction, on click, set variable, mode, portrait. Hit enter, hit the plus button, change to, portrait. Now let's go to the prototype once again. Let's test it. And it's perfect. I can change it to landscape or portrait and I can also set it to on and off to make it show or disappear. So now you can make a component to be the trigger or interaction of another one. And that's it for this Figma quick tip. I really hope it helps you in your future designs. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel for more content like this, share with your designer folks, and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.